Okay, so here we are. We're gonna have a look at the joyride here at Wild Wind. First thing to do, just check your trapeze lengths. About one hand's width in between the sidebar and the J and H is good. It's ideal if the crew's trapeze is just a little bit longer than the helm's trapeze. Gonna put the rudders down while the boat is on the mooring because we have our rudders set up pretty tight here so it does make it a bit easier and then I'll just check the trapeze lengths on this side yep good a little bit long that one just gonna shorten it here by bringing a bit of rope through Let's see how we are there nice so uh what's your name charlotte hello charlotte i'm joe i'll be your captain if you'd like to climb aboard yeah. you pretty much stay around here yeah. that's a good spot while we're getting going so we're just going to walk the boat backwards a little bit until we've got enough space to definitely get out okay so i think we look pretty good just there Right, so I'm now work, working my way down the boat, which is going to encourage the boat to bear away slightly. So just when the boat's got a little bit of angle on, about there, we'll jump on. And straight away, just making sure the main sheet and the traveller are free. Okay, so Charlotte, if you'd just like to bring the jib in a little bit there and come back on the boat slightly. And then the other thing we need to do before we get going is the downhaul. So even in this fairly marginal joyriding conditions, we're going to pull the downhaul on pretty much full, which once we've got it to the top of that sticker, the boom, that's when we know that is enough. So utilizing Charlotte's supreme power here. Yeah, I think that'll be fine for this. And now we just turned up to wind where we can give a short briefing on what's going to go on. Also at this time we can set our traveller. So Charlotte's pretty light but it's not that windy. So I'm going to set the traveller at about the toe strap. That will give us a fairly good place to go off, not too much power. Okay and then if you, if you come back here and go out from there that would be just the job. Okay. All right, so now we're ready. We've got space. I'm just going to sheet in till we get enough power. Just so the hull starts to rise ever so slightly. We're on a close reaching course here. So now I'll get Charlotte to go out on the trapeze. Very good. And on the trapeze, if you're feeling unstable, put your feet wider apart. If you're feeling very stable, Put your feet close together. Now I'm sheeting in a bit more to get a bit more power on, working my way out. And then here we are. Woohoo! Lovely. I like to keep it steady. I'm get my hair wet. Okay, so here we're just using a little bit of main sheet for the bigger gusts and for the smaller changes in the wind strength and direction, just using a very small amount of rudder. So if we feel a little bit underpowered for a minute, I'll just bear away very slightly. As the wind comes up, I'll bring it up slightly. And there we are, lovely. So uh, yeah, a little bit gusty today, but nothing we can't manage. just working the main sheet mostly here because quite like this course don't want to go up too much higher because we'll be going up into the wind surfers and now if Charlotte was any heavier she'd have to move back slightly in fact yeah you can come back a little bit lovely slightly to 
to get a little bit of speed on. Now that we've got a bit of space, nice bit of wind. And on this sort of course, really, it's all in the main sheet. If the main sheet isn't moving, it means that the boat is in control and we're not controlling the boat. It's the boat, we're just passengers. So the main going out there, coming back in almost immediately. This next gust is steering a little bit for a bit more power. There's a bit more power sheeting out and then back in, out and then back in and repeat. Coming up to the photographer, very important to have the hull flying, of course. Okay. Here's a little trick for the traveller rope. If you want to give the traveller to the crew, you can just take it, throw it in the water, and that will pull it all the way through. And not necessarily just to hold on to really. um, So in these conditions, we'll sail with the traveller in the same spot pretty much all the time. Okay, so the next leg is going to be, we're going to, we're going to turn the boat downwind onto a broad reach, but we'll do that sitting in. So you can go back onto the boat there, Charlotte. Excellent. Okay, I'm just tidying up my string first, easing a bit of sheet as I come in. We're not racing, we're just uh, not wanting to capsize because that is time consuming. Okay, if you could ease the jib off a little bit and just come back towards me. And then we're just going to put the boat on a, what I like to call a catamaran sailor's broad reach. So with the uh, telltales on the front flying straight across the boat at 90 degrees, the ones on the bridle wires, which we only have one at this time. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll wait for a fairly juicy gust. And as soon as we've got that gust and we've taken the speed from the gust, we'll go for the jibe. On the jibe here, it's a good idea for the crew to not worry about changing the jib. We'll do that once we're through because that can lead to complications trying to do it all at the same time. Okay, this is about as juicy as a gust will get. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and there's the boom coming across. And we can bring the jib across now. And now we just need to swap the jib travelers over. So, yeah, letting that one off, pulling that one on. If a jib's already sheeted in, it can be necessary to release the jib sheet to be able to pull that all the way out. That's it. Lovely. And there we are on our new broad reach. And we're going to come across the bay until we're about level with the wild wind moorings. And that should give us a pretty decent close reach back in without getting too close to the wind surfers. Okay, so now we can head up, we can hook in, and off we go. Sheeting in as going out on the trapeze. It's looking a shade windier now. So because it's a bit windier, I need to get hold of the traveler. I'm just gonna let it off a bit. There we go. So then we can sail with more sheet tension. It's gonna make the boat easier to control. There we are, this is what it's all about. There appears to be a large red ship anchored in the bay. It's obviously pretty critical we don't capsize right in front of it feeling reasonably safe but that's not going to happen this would make excellent tv if it did happen of course all right wind's dropped a bit i'm going to bring the traveler back in touch let's have a bit more Lovely. 
Okay, and this is really quite lazy sailing where we're just steering for the gusts. So we're just sailing on the verge of being underpowered until now. Easing the sheet again in the bigger gusts and just steering for the smaller gusts. Going to take it a little bit higher to a fairly upwind course so that we can finish off with a double trapeze broad reach to glory or defeat outside the moorings. Glory. It's good to go for the glory. before it. There's a Ocean Elements plastic day boat. Probably best to go behind it so I'm just going to move back a little bit on the boat, ease a bit of sheet. Steal the wind of customers because they paid for it, we get it for free. Here we go, and broad reach to glory. Here so, here it really is a case of standing on the back of the boat, cranking the main sheet. When we get a gust, easing a bit of sheet, bearing away. Not quite enough wind for it just now. Okay, so we're going to head up again so you can move forwards. We're going to go in off the trapeze when we get to the keel boat there and when we come in off the trapeze we're just going to want to have the jib completely loose to the downhaul off so that when we get into the moorings the boat will be as tame as possible. Okay so we'll go in just there so we've got plenty of time. There we go. Lovely. And with all that off, we can really just sail in mega slow, easing the main off at this angle to slow down. If at any point it doesn't look like we can sail close enough to the wind, we can then bring the main sheet back up in. Again, we're just keeping the traveler in the same position all the time. We've just set that to the wind strength till the wind strength changes, of course. But we'll just let these guys go in first customer service. With a smile. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go for some alternative parking. You can only do this if you've got your RYA level two. I don't think I've got mine. Oh dear. All right, we'll go for the same parking. Wind's just changed a little bit. We're just going to nip in here. Okay, so jib totally off there and just coming up into the wind and as long as I keep pushing the rudders away I can get off the boat and the boat's going to stay up towards the wind then it's going to drift back so I can just catch it at the bow do some sort of high five with the crew oh yeah nice one excellent there it is 